Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us for Bastyr University's Doctor of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine webinar. My name is Erin K. Bailey, and I am the Admissions Advisor here at Bastyr for the Acupuncture Programs. Dr. Kathleen Lumiere is the Program Chair for the DAOM, and she will be presenting a PowerPoint presentation about the program today for you. We will also be happy to address any questions you may have at the end of the presentation, so we do encourage you to send them to us via the chat box. Please feel free to send the questions at any time during the presentation, and we will go ahead and answer them at the end. With those notes covered, I would now like to introduce Dr. Kathleen Lumiere. Dr. Lumiere, thank you so much for joining us today, and please feel free to begin whenever you like. Thank you very much, Erin. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. Uh, outside, the sun is shining and the flowers are blooming, and it is even prettier than it is in the pictures. It's a really, a really nice day here at Bastyr University. Uh, so as you can see in this, in this um, broad picture, of the from the from the sky, as it were, uh, Bastyr University Kenmore is nestled in the middle of a forest with trails that go down to Lake Washington, and in the surrounding environs, we also have an urban campus uh, that's connected to our teaching clinic, where many of the doctoral program classes take place. That's in the Fremont Wallingford area in Seattle, and uh, it has its own its own beauties and its own, its own draws, including great restaurants, and um, it's very close to the ship canal. So uh, I am going to just go forward here. Um, so the Department of Acupuncture and East Asian Medicine is part of the School of Traditional World Medicines. Um, we have programmatic and regional accreditation for all our courses of study, which means that financial aid is available. So that's a, that's a very important distinction. Not all um, uh, Chinese medicine programs have regional accreditation, but we are we're quite, quite pleased that we do. Our faculty hail from all over the world. So we, we have sought out um, the, the most skilled people we could find. Um, Whitfield Reeves and Susan Johnson taught last year. Rosa Schneier is a, uh, is, a, is a internationally renowned research faculty. She teaches at a lot of DOM programs and has done collaborative work with, with Harvard and other bodies. She teaches at the University of Texas at Austin, and she is our main research faculty. She also wrote a groundbreaking book about depression and acupuncture and is listed on, on numerous studies, and she's just a crackerjack teacher. So if you're interested in doing research, you would be working with Dr. Schneier and, um, and developing those skills. And even if you're, if this is not uh, an area of burning interest for you, this program is 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 dedicated to helping everybody develop research fluency, as research is is uh, part of the the currency of of leadership in our profession and in bridging the gaps between our professions and conventional medicine and and other programs of study too being able to show how what we do works. Um, Craig Mitchell is the president of, an, of a neighboring institution and a very well-known and well-respected Chinese scholar. He teaches a course called Pain in the Shang Han Luan and other Chinese classics. We're very, very lucky to have him. And we have Jason Howe teaching scalp acupuncture for pain. So we also have eight full-time, highly experienced, nationally recognized faculty here at Bastyr in the Chinese medicine program, most of whom have been on the faculty for over, uh, over a decade, close to two decades for, for most of us. The, the, the faculty is very, very solid, very established, and very experienced. Um, I, with 18 years of experience and 10 years at Bastyr, am one of the one of the the, the newest of the faculty. Um, our areas of specialty include pain management, of course, because that's what gets people, you know, in in the door. That's people people seek out help when they're in pain, and it's one of the great things that we can provide is that is that first relief on the way to full health. 
Um, internal medicine is another specialty. Oncology, there's a, a very deep knowledge about cancer care and adjunctive cancer support in this in this in this faculty body. Before we we changed into a, a broad pain medicine focus, by which I mean all types of pain, psychological as well as physical, we had a specialty area in oncology. So that's an area of deep expertise. Uh, women's health, twin ah, electro and laser acupuncture. This is this is m one of my areas of specialty. Uh, Chinese medical classics and of course research. In addition, a large amount of uh, a large body of skilled and highly respected adjunct faculty uh, give us views and experience with with other types of East Asian medicine. Um, some of the most skilled Japanese and Shonishin practitioners, for instance, Brenda Lowe, are, are professors in the doctoral program as well as teaching in the master's program here. And we have, an, uh, because Bastyr University is a university, we have access to lots of different departments, so basic sciences, nutrition, psychology, and naturopathic medicine. So we, we do a lot of collaboration, cross-disciplinary work, and, um, and, our, and our faculty also interact with different student bodies. Also, we have access to things like the, uh, like the labs, from cadaver labs to herbal preparation classes. Um, our, our, our resources are, are really quite amazing for a natural health sciences university. We also have very kind, dedicated staff like Erin Bailey, who supports students all the way from the admission through graduation. And in, in, in addition, we use uh, community building techniques that are, are learned from restorative justice trainings uh, to facilitate communication and to make sure that our, our culture within the department is one of listening and respect. Um, as, as, as well as recognizing the, uh, the strengths of each of the people who participate in it. So graduates of the DOM program at Bastyr um, are now teachers all over the world from, from Israel to right here in our backyard. They work in hospitals and a number of them have also founded numerous thriving and well-established clinics. Um, I'm thinking of, of one of our graduates who's working in Canada, um, another one in Philadelphia. Uh, it, we're just, we're, our graduates are doing some amazing things. And here's a quote from one of our graduates in the Bay Area, whoops, go back, uh, Dr. Anahita Ferrati, who is very, very successful in providing adjunctive cancer care. So this is a rapidly growing profession. It's legally recognized in 43 states, including the District of Columbia. Um, there are over 60 acupuncture schools and about 30,000 licensed acupuncturists in the US. So, so the demand for acupuncture uh, is just going up. And this is, this is in part attributable to an, uh, the opioid crisis. So this, as I'm sure that many of you know, the Chinese word for crisis, the character is also used sometimes in um, the character for opportunity. And this is our opportunity to show that our medicine is a very effective for pain and has minimal side effects. So we are actively being solicited by, by clinics, by the, the Department of Defense, um, our internship uh, at, at Harborview Medical Center, which I'll go into a little bit later, is, is in response to this crisis. And the need is vast and expanding. So we have something of great, great value to offer. And it's mostly a matter of getting the right credentials, the right training, and then getting our people out there to answer it. The doctoral degree is a vital component for getting hired in places like hospitals and the Department of Defense, as well as um, anybody who has academic ambitions. So, so peop, somebody who wants to teach or do research. The University of Washington and uh, the Fred Hutch, Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center 
offer bridge program research training grants to um, to a number of, of uh, graduates in health professions at the doctoral level, including the DAOM. So we've had um, a few DAOM candidates go through that uh, very high level research training program. So why the DOM at Bastyr University? There are a number of DOM degrees, so, so why us? Um, this is the highest level of formal training in Chinese medicine that's available in the U.S. right now. And DOM, grad, DOM degrees in general position uh, folks for leadership in the profession. So ours is special in a few different ways. Uh, we, one, of the, one of the things that we do is we've gone very deeply and broadly into pain management because from numerous surveys with alums and with, um, we, did, we did our research, we did our homework, uh, and with um, hospitals and legislative bodies, the, the, the need for expert assistance with pain management was just crying out. So that's, that's the need that we're trying to fulfill with this, with this degree program. Um, so our graduates have a vast toolkit. Uh, we, in addition, we train doctoral candidates in clinical supervision. So we are we're teaching people how to teach. We provide access to clinical experience within a hospital setting. So by the time you graduate, you, you already have worked within a clinic in a in a in a, ho uh, a very intense hospital environment for a year and a half. Um, this program develops research and writing skills. One of the goals of the program is so that anybody, even if English is not their first language, can, uh, can write um, publishable communications by the end of the program. So some, some people within the program are already publishing and um, some are getting there, but the, the, the trajectory of growth is, is really, really obvious. And everybody just comes as they are and builds on their skills from that point. Uh, writing is the way that people still communicate and influence others within the profession. So this is true for journals, for newspapers, for emails to um, decision makers. Uh, so this is a very vital skill. And um, we, uh, we believe that we do this part of it um, probably better than any other program. Also, the clinical experience at Harborview Medical Center is, um, is, is, is a unique and valuable opportunity. So our clinical training is probably, uh, is, is also exceptionally strong. Uh, the program honors the classical roots of Chinese medicine as well as branching over into uh, fluency in Western clinical medicine as well. So the timing of the classes and the training. So this is a two-year program. There's one four-day weekend in the Seattle area per month and eight to eight and a half hours of instruction per day. So what you learn in that time is then applied the rest of the month in private practice, in preceptorships, in research, and online activities while you're away from best year proper. So the didactic training, as I mentioned, is extremely comprehensive in pain management theory and techniques. The biomedical perspectives from clinical interpretation include labs and orthopedic exams and neurological exams and training in imaging so, uh, and um, pharmacology. So you, uh, you come out knowing um, well, being an, being an expert in uh, the Western treatment of pain as well as East Asian medicine possibilities. Also, you get instruction in classical Chinese medical literature that are relevant to understanding and practice in pain management. So a little bit more about the clinical training. There's an internship. There's supervisory training. There's preceptorship, private practice, and observation. And these, these, these activities take place at the Bastyr Center for Natural Health. We have a clinic, as I mentioned, in Fremont 
we also have uh, an urban campus classroom attached to that same very lovely space. Uh, we see about 35,000 patients a year. And uh, this is a very well-respected clinic. Um, it's among the top five for patient satisfaction in the region year after year. So we do a, we do a, a great job of taking care of people. So as doctoral students, you would be training there in how to uh, instruct master's level students in a clinical setting. At the Harborview Medical Center, which is a, uh, a level one trauma center, we work in the pain med medicine and anesthesiology department. You would be working with other health practitioners such as internists, uh, pain medicine specialists, um, social workers. This is a this is really a, a, a cutting edge, a collaborative opportunity to, between disciplines to try to um, more effectively manage pain. These these people are actively looking for and appreciative of acupuncture as a modality for 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 relief and healing. Uh, you're you would also be working in private clinics through preceptorships and doing a, a training in China. Um, so more about the Harborview Medical Center internship. The, the students go, we, we go to uh, grand rounds or table rounds in the morning of a day at Harborview. And there, the, the patients for the day are, are triaged. So one of the residents on call will present the different, the different patients, and then teams will talk about what they might be able to, to provide to, um, to help that person heal or feel better or go on. Uh, Harborview Medical Center is recognized as a best hospital in, by the US News and World Report in uh, 1617. And it's part of the University of Washington Medical School. Uh, it is, this is, this is, as I said before, this is an exceptional opportunity for people in our profession. And um, already this has opened doors for our graduates with this experience on their resumes. The research skill development, a little bit deeper dive on that. We provide instruction on how to find, read, and evaluate the scientific literature, and then how to, how to present that, how to make use of that, how to communicate those findings to, to patients, to, to friends and neighbors, to, um, to decision makers. We incorporate original source material into our curriculum. We're very, uh, we're very serious about being a high level academic and scholarly um, program. So, uh, so there's, there's not much that's extrapolated. You will learn how to use original source material if you, if you don't know that already. Um, we use applications of research in clinical settings at Harborview in private practice, in preceptorships. And then you develop skills to contribute to the body of knowledge in this profession through completing a capstone project. More about China. So um, this has been month long because we recognize the need for uh, for people to maintain their private practices and family life. Um, we are in the process of of trimming this to two weeks. So, so with this next cohort, um, it's going to be two weeks long, but uh, the students can can either go early or stay longer and do advanced level preceptorships with individual um, practitioners and teachers at the hospital. This takes place in Hangzhou, which is the Lake District of China. It's been a vacation spot in China for uh, almost 2,000 years. It is absolutely gorgeous. Very, uh, very scenic, steeped in history. The hospital there has a high patient volume. Um, the opportunities for 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 understanding the 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 cultural genesis of our medicine and its application in this uh, in this very rich setting are vast. Should be fun. Uh, more about Bastyr, we have 
the campus here in Kenmore. We have the campus in Fremont and Wallingford in downtown Seattle, and we have a campus in San Diego. Um, we have a shuttle service in between the Kenmore and the Fremont campuses, so you're not going to be car dependent if you are staying in Kenmore, although our, our students have found it more convenient to be based in Fremont. Um, in Kenmore, we have a student village. We have an exceptional cafeteria, just delicious food. I'm happy every day that I, I eat at, at the Kenmore campus, although the restaurants are really terrific in Fremont and Wallingford. Uh, we have numerous clinical sites. The student community is diverse and vibrant and um, um, just wonderful. Uh, tutoring support uh, we offer through this, the, the Student Support Association. We have library, um, great library, the best of the natural health science, science universities in the US. Uh, and the staff are, as I, as I mentioned before, uh, Aaron is an exemplar, um, are just great. They are very eager to serve students and make sure that, that students um, learn and are able to pursue their dreams, you know, so they can, so they can really go out there and make a difference. Uh, and the financial aid staff is, is really helpful as well. So more about what's unique to best year. We have a multidisciplinary environment. Not many schools have this. We're very lucky. Uh, I mentioned the, the Natural Health Sciences University Library. Um, and the ties with the UW. In addition, we have ties with the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center um, and Harborview and others. So if this is part of your path, it will enable you to advance to the highest level of training that's available in the field. It'll create professional relationships with colleagues here in the US and abroad and it'll allow you to discover and cultivate with support the next step or few steps, uh, what your path is, what drives you, what your curiosity is, what your questions are. Um, this is the most exciting part of this program to me is seeing people become fully their professional, their professional selves. It's very, very exciting. Um, well, I would love to hear your questions, so please uh, please type them or um, follow up with with Aaron afterwards. But for now, please please type. Okay, Kathleen, I have a few questions for you. Great, right. great. The first question um, is: What are the advantages of the DAOM program as compared to other DACM or doctoral completion plans? Oh, great question. Yeah, because they're both called doctor, this can be really confusing. So the the DACs, um, the, the first professional doctorate or doctor of acupuncture is just a little bit more, but not very much more than, uh, than a Bastier master's degree. So this is an entry level, it's a doctorate, but it's an entry level professional degree. Um, the DAOM, by contrast, is, is leveling up significantly from there. It's learning research skills. It's learning advanced clinical skills. It's learning teaching skills. It's learning writing skills. So this is, this is, um, this is a big professional development uh, difference. Thank you for that, Kathleen. The next question is um, asking if you would please share more about the student experience at Harborview and the student's relationship with the attending physicians. Sure, yeah. So uh, the students are on the floor with, uh, with, with nurses, with doctors, with residents, with um, PT people, OT people. They are, they are part of the care delivery system at Harborview. We're only there twice a week. They would love for us to be there more. This has been a step-by-step -step progression of becoming part of this hospital team. They are, uh, they're, ex they're respected and accepted members and, and, as I said, appreciated for being there. Um, 
we're we're still working into uh, we're still easing into aspects of workflow, and I think this is going to be an area of continuing development until it's just common to have an acupuncturist on staff at at all major hospitals, but that's the goal. And to that end, uh, we are collaborating with research at Harborview with the heads of those departments and the staff. Oh, that's great, Kathleen, because that the, uh, transitions right into the next question, which was asking us to share some examples of the kinds of research topics that DAOM students are studying. Oh, sure. Okay, so there's this study at Harborview, which is just uh, going through the IRB, the Institutional Review Board process right now. Uh, we've done out, we've done more informal outcomes to this point just to show efficacy, that show that acupuncture was working. And this was to satisfy uh, Harborview administrators, and they are they are well satisfied. Um, in addition, we're launching a chronic pain study at our own care facility at the Bastyr Center for Natural Health, also this month, busy month. Uh, people, a number of people are doing literature reviews on topics as diverse as Qigong to dermatology. So although pain sometimes seems like a narrow topic, actually it's vast. It can be, uh, it can be any kind of uh, imbalance that causes, causes distress. Um, psychological pain lights up the same areas of the brain as physical pain, and we we recognize and acknowledge that in our in our classes and in our research. So we also have students doing research about mental and physical well-being, so depression and anxiety as well. Thank you, Kathleen. The next question is, what are some ways that interested practitioners can prepare as they think about applying for this program? Mm. So as a, as a professional, as an acupuncture professional, you are probably already prepared. You, you don't need to do a lot of advanced work. Uh, it's, it's useful to work with Aaron or uh, our program assistant, Carrie Tenniswood, about some of the logistics of visiting and getting a feel for the place. But I would, I would, I would reassure you that as a graduate of an accredited program, you're probably right in the groove for adequate preparation. Wonderful. And the last question is actually one that I will go ahead and field for us. Um, but that question is, what is the admissions deadline and what are the prerequisites for the DAOM program? So the admissions deadline is relatively fluid. Uh, this program does begin in the winter quarter, so that means a January start. Um, the holiday season is very busy for us here on campus as well as we go on a significant break. So um, I will be available to assist you along any of that path. However, I would prefer and I think it would benefit you as the student to have some more time to work through the admissions process. So I would say, um, you know, really shoot for November 1 as the latest um, to apply. But I encourage you all to uh, please reach out to me. Um, I am available for phone appointments or on-campus appointments. Um, there are tours that you can take. Um, there are current students and alumni that you may speak with. Our faculty and staff is also available to you. So if this is something that you're contemplating, I encourage you to check in with me sooner rather than later. But as a general rule of thumb, we're looking at about November for the admissions deadline. Um, I can be reached at 425-602-3332. That is our admissions front office and they have access to my calendar so that you can choose a time that is convenient for you. Um, and you're more than welcome to send me an email at ebailey at bastier.edu. So that is E, B as in boy, A-I-L-E-Y at bastier.edu. 
So Kathleen, that actually wraps up our questions for the webinar. I can't thank you enough for your participation. And um, if you have any final comments, we will be finishing up. Sure, thank you, Erin. Um, and, and please reach out to me as well if you have any questions about the classes and about the life as a student. Uh, I would be happy to, um, to talk with you. My email address is k-l-u-m-i-e-r-e -E at bastier.edu, and I encourage you to reach out. Uh, and Erin has given the kind of a has given you the hard deadline of November first, and I would actually encourage you to to do it sooner for a couple reasons. Uh, one of them is that the onboarding process at Harborview is quite is is extensive, and it's it's better to get a jump on that. Um, to save a whole bunch of, of, of filling out forms and sending them in over the Christmas holidays. So, so there, there's that. Uh, and also, if we know how many people are going to be in the program, then we can much better plan. So if you're thinking about it, I would encourage you to do it soon. Thanks so much. Thank Hope you, Kathleen. You. And everybody have a wonderful rest of your day, and we look forward to talking with you soon.